Hey everyone, welcome to this week's video update for Friday, September 1st. Hope everybody had a good week of trading. Uh, I'm going to skip over the market overview and jump right into the trades, heading into a four-day weekend, and I wanted to get this out, but short on time, so let's roll. Um, all right, so uh, zero DTE, nice week to end the... Um, the last week of August and start the first day of September plus 29,000 on all the zero DTE strategies uh, with 73% win rate across the board on 31 trades. So let's break these down. Let's go by um, AM ratios first. Let's go down in order. Three trades, all three of which were winners. Tuesday, small winner. Uh, Wednesday was a nice winner and Thursday was a nice winner. So all in all for AM ratios plus 4,025. The Dick K special has been on fire plus uh, four for four on the DKS uh, plus 4,000 for the week. Zero DTE Ducks just had one of those for plus 1,300. JSP just sell puts. Um, so the one that was a winner plus 1500 that was that actually met my criteria this one as you can see as i flagged myself was discretionary um this one was frustrating for a couple of reasons number one because it was profitable up until the last 10 minutes before the bell and then the market just dropped and so i took a loss Number two, because of that drop, not only did I take this loss, but I also lost a bet to Dick K and had to ship him barbecue from Kansas City. So kind of a double whammy on that one. Um, and then let's go to power hour. All right, so green week for power hour plus 2,800. Monday, uh, all three were losers. Tuesday, all three were winners. Wednesday, uh, had tranche one as the winner, tranche three, small winner, tranche two, small loser. Uh, so about 3000 on that day. And then Thursday, uh, tranche two was eleven twelve hundred dollars $1,200 winner, tranche one, $4,200, and tranche three, just a small $150 loser. And then today was basically a scratch, a little scratch on tranche one, minus 760s tranche two, plus 850 uh, tranche three. Uh, could have been a really good day, but again, one of those days where the last few minutes it made a move kind of out of our range. So unfortunately, did not book as much uh, as I had hoped on that one going into the close. Uh, but still green for the week for power hour. Uh, PM ratios and quiet lunches. Let's just put all these together. So I had five trades, uh, three of which were quiet lunches. So plus 3430 on this quiet lunch, plus 7200 on this one, and plus 3500 on that one. A couple of PM ratios, plus 5000 and plus 1625. So nice uh, nice uh, week on the afternoon trades, over almost 21,000 just on those five trades alone. And then our buddy Rick, the only Rick I took this week, Unfortunately, it was a loser. It was the only loser of the month, minus 1,400. Uh, would have taken one today on Friday, but I have a little bit new criteria for entering. And um, it would have been a winner, but I uh, didn't take it based on my new criteria. So uh, just the one for the week. And that's it for zero DTE. Dynamic butterflies. Uh, so a couple uh, time flies have been on fire, except we until we took a couple couple decent losses uh, this week, so down 3,000 on those for the week. Dynamic calendars, rough week for the old calendars. Get all these clicked, to make sure we get all of them covered. So uh, down, what was the total? Yeah, 8,400 for calendars. Uh, $6,000 loss on a TGIF. This one was the real fr the real frustrator was the six seven. We were up almost twenty percent. Uh, I actually had an order in to close out uh, a portion of that one, and then that one uh, market just ripped out of range on that one. Ended up taking a three thousand dollar loss. Had a, also had a two four for loss. 
Um, I wanted to go into this week a little bit lighter on calendars and ended up not really being as light as I should have or wanted to, especially in hindsight. Um, because, you know, going into a holiday weekend, uh, we see that a lot. We see, you know, s- some one directional moves. We see a massive volatility contraction just like we did this week. So unfortunately did not, um, did not do well on the calendars, um, which I'll, I'm going to, uh, let's see, Dark Avenger in our community had a request that I show a little bit more detail on, on kind of year to date, how my calendars have done. I'm not going to do it here just to, um, uh, cause I don't have time with, and I, and I want to, I don't want to make it part of this video, but I'm going to do, I'll do a separate video, just kind of breaking that down. So look for that in the calendar, uh, calendar channel in discord here shortly. All right. So that's calendars. And then, um, iron ducks had three small duck winners, uh, total of five thirteen in profits, book two in SPX and one in rut. No NTTs. And then, so lastly, option selling and hedgehogs. Let me refresh this. All right, so um, opened a new hedgehog in ES. Uh, booked a volatility contra- two volatility contraction plays in VXX, one for 788, one for uh, 468. Uh, booked a short strangle in oil for 520. Booked a short strangle in soybeans for 868. And these are part of rolls. That one's still open. So let's go to the platform. And show you open positions. So we've got a short strangle open in 6E. It's close to booking 30% of profit in less than a week on that one, but it ended up kind of pumping some volatility into those shockingly with everything else volatility contracting. So I didn't get filled on that. Um, so hopefully next week in oil, we've got a hedgehog that is a little bit profitable prices up here. Uh, in ES, I've got a hedgehog that was down to seven DTE, but I figured I'd just keep it on over the weekend. Not much risk to holding that. If we push up, we'll scratch a little profit out. If for some reason we have a massive down move, we've got a nice profit hump building to the downside. GC, we've got a nice reverse hedgehog going. It's up uh, nicely, about 800. Uh, MES rolled up some puts today. We also had rolled down calls. Uh, so we are, um, after adjustments, we are profitable, but not quite to our profit target. NQ. We've got a hedgehog that's up a few hundred bucks. QQQ, we've got an iron duck. This actually will expire today, so we'll book that $174 in profit. Uh, In SPX, we've got a time fly on. So with volatility as low as it was, I didn't want to just start with the butterfly. So I put on the entire structure here. So uh, we'll give that over the weekend and um, look see if we can book a quick profit early next week on that. Um, Going back to show some other open positions. Uh, We've got a uh, a, uh, flathead woodpecker condor in rut. We've already taken off three of five booked profits on that. Uh, So just kind of trying to squeeze out some more profits on our remaining piece. Um, On the calendar front, we've got in SPX, we've got a TGIF that's up, uh, looks like about 400-ish. We've got a double calendar in NDX that started off as a single, adjusted into a double. That one's up about 800-ish. And then we've also got a 6.7 DTE um, that we just put on that's actually in a different account, so I can't show you the graph here. Um, So that is it, my friends. Hope everybody has a safe, fun Labor Day weekend. We'll be back at it on Tuesday when the market's open back up. Have a good weekend. Talk to you soon.